I'll be damned. Thregudi knows who the leaker is. Some members of the political establishment in Washington, D.C., have been committing treason against the United States with a systematic campaign of leaks, which is undermining President Donald Trump and his agenda. In the most recent example of this, Director of National Intelligence Dan Coats delivered closed-door testimony, which he was assured by top congressional committee members Democrat Adam Schiff and Republican Thray Goody would remain private. As has so often happened these days, however, Coates' testimony was leaked to the press. Discussed Goody on CNN's Outfront, about eight hours ago, Adam Schiff and I looked Dan Coates in the eyes and we assured him that there would be no selective leaking of his testimony to us. And I'll be damned if eight hours later, there aren't three different leaks with what he told us. He continued, so if anyone is questioning why congressional investigations aren't taken seriously, and are viewed as political exercises, you need to look no further than the fact that we looked one of our intelligence officials in the eyes and promised him there would be no selective leaking. And here I am being asked about it not even eight hours later. Goody said to host Aaron Burnett that only eight people were in the room to hear Coates' testimony, so the leaker must be one of the eight. Goody knows who the leaker is, but was not at liberty to divulge the information with the public. Explained Thray, I can't tell you who it is. But I can tell you this, you're going to have a chilling effect on other witnesses who want to share classified, sensitive information when it makes its way to the headlines before the transcripts even dry. I can tell you this. It wasn't me and I don't think it was Representative Schiff. Do you think Thray should punish the leaker? The leaker, 